We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. The month of August is here. Games are right around the corner, and it is a privilege to get to visit with Rob Gray today, the head coach for the Faulkner Eagles, as our stop is in Montgomery, Alabama. Coach, uh, it's a beautiful day outside. I appreciate you taking some time for us today. Last season, 2-8, and eight, uh, maybe not quite the record that, that you want. Tell us a little bit about last season and, and talk about just how the year went. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, last year was a lot of adversity for us, for sure. You know, we didn't go into a fall camp planning to be two and eight. Um, you know, we thought we did, you know, a really good job during fall camp, you know, in order to put ourselves in position to have a good year, you know, and then the injury bug bit us a little bit. Um, it, was, it was hard for us to kind of bounce back from it, um, um, to be honest, you know, but the excuse or the injuries, you know, it's no excuse, you know. My job is to find a way to get it done, uh, you know, and, and we, you know, we didn't get it done this past season. So um, we've been working since that last the last loss we got to Cumberland um, to really build it back up and get it rolling again. You know, you play in a challenging conference, Coach. It really is uh, among the, the top of the NAI when you look top to bottom in there. And, and if you do have injuries or other things, other adversity to deal with, it's going to be tough to find some wins along the way, especially later in the season. Tell us a little bit about the Mid-South. I mean, it's a juggernaut of a conference. I mean, it's the 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 old SEC West um, for sure. I mean, really good coaches, you know, and they have really really talented teams. Um, you know, we're just trying to match that. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, there's a lot of weeks our our guys didn't look anything like the players that we were going to play against. But you know, we went out there and tried to battle. You know, um, week in and week out. So we we think we've kind of leveled the playing field a little bit. You know, obviously there's there's still some, you know, top top five teams in our uh, division. Um, and hopefully we'll get to that point. Camp getting underway pretty quickly. I know there will be players there soon as August has rolled around. And some other things that have to do with your roster are going to shake themselves out, I suppose, in the next little bit. But uh, there have been people transferring in and out, uh, eligibility being used up. There have been some new faces that, right. that are at the uh, probably on the on those ones in the depth chart as you come along. Tell us a little bit about the offense to get started. I know Cam Bullock has transferred in and could have an impact on your your offense this season. Yeah, Cam Cam will be a a, a really big part of what we're trying to do. Uh, he came in from Arkansas State, and you know he's already kind of established himself as a, a leader on the team. You know he. He got to practice with us in the spring, so he kind of, you know, got to know the guys a little bit. But, I mean, he's a very physical receiver. Um, it's kind of weird in today's age. He loves blocking, uh, but he can certainly, you know, get open um, with the best of them. Um, so we'll, we'll probably look totally different offensively. You know, it'll be a, a, a pretty much a new team um, outside of a few faces here and there. But uh, for the most part, we return most of the guys on defense, um, you know, that we had, and we lost some some pieces there. But – um, we're more experienced on that side of the ball um, as far as playing in, in this conference, um, for sure. You know, we'll have Jalen Clemens coming back, who's a big a big corner for us. He ended up getting hurt, you know, week one uh, or right after the Reinhardt game in week one. And um, that's certainly a guy we depend on in the secondary. Um, but we have Jarrell Williamson back, um, who plays linebacker for us. Um, really good player, really, really good leader for us. Coach, uh, of, of all those, both sides of the ball, again, new faces coming through. I mean, even when it comes to special teams, Caden Davis, who was a kicker and a punter for you last year, he's expended his eligibility, so you're going to have to look for some help there as well. Yeah, so we, we had to go out and find three people to do what Caden did. Uh, he certainly uh, did a lot for us the last couple of years. So we had to go out and, you know, we got uh, two kids in from a high school who can absolutely boot it. Uh, then we got a transfer in from – Birmingham Southern, um, who can who can do the same as well. So it's it's going to be an exciting. It's going to be a battle for those guys here in fall camp. Season gets underway on Saturday, August thirty first, and your schedule is, I would imagine, eerily similar. It's uh, the exact yeah. same group of teams, not quite the yeah. same order, and obviously uh, home and away reversed this year for all of those games. But you travel to Southeastern first, and then you're back at home to take on Reinhardt. I know that's always a, a challenging and interesting game for you all. And then not too far away from the Mid-South schedule proper after that. Tell us a little bit about the opening to your season. Yeah, I mean, we we take a trip down to Lakeland, Florida. It'll be my first one. Um, but, I mean, it'll be a hostile environment. And those guys are really, really good, and they're coached really hard. Um, so that, that'll be a tough one, you know, right, right out the gate for us. 
Um, and obviously, you know, Ron Hart, they've established themselves year in, year out as a, you know, top 10 team, top 10 program. Um, so, I mean, it's very difficult to start out. And then after Ron Hart, you know, we played the, the, the runner up in that conference, which was Pikeville, you know, coached by uh, Phipps. And I think he's one of the you know most brilliant offensive lines in it. You know, so it's it's going to be really tough right out the gate for us, um, you know, to try to find some wins. I understand, but uh, it does get started, and it is now less than a month as it's officially in the the month. And when you get things kicked off, the Faulkner Eagles getting ready for the fourth year under head coach Rob Gray. Coach Gray, thank you so much for taking time with us today and previewing Faulkner for us here on Midwest Sportsnet. Thanks for having me.